hello scorpio i'm hoping you're doing well we're gonna go ahead and do your reading and this is for march 28th through april the 3rd for scorpio sun moon rising venus i'll be using the celtic cross thread as usual and ask the universe here what do you guys need to know situation events energies whatever the universe wants scorpio sun moon rising venus to know for next week i've already uploaded this week so i'm going to continue with next week Celtic cross spread, please. What situation events is Scorpio dealing with? One more. So there is a chance for something prosperous, but we will see. Oh, we're starting with the devil, the four of cups, the emperor, the knight of swords, the nine of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the high priestess, the queen of swords, and the knight of wands. That devil, especially with the Four of Cups, to me, that is a tempting offer here. Someone that feels this passion, and it's, I, I feel like the devil to me here, always the lovers are, you know, very much here, staying in a situation that they don't want to be, but that attraction, that pull, that obsession, that lust, that desire, it's, it's you know, it's what is keeping you and someone else here in this state and especially this king of pentacles that we have here but we'll see it's like there's to me there's a i have to tell you there's a tempting offer that feels you cannot resist it or is a strong attachment here because look we have the devil and there's that offer that's what's challenging is this you know sh can i do this in a way, I feel like that cup that is being offered here from the divine or that chance that is being lingered is like, is quenching the thirst here because I'm getting this fire energy and that the water coming It's like, you know, you can, if you take this, you are not going to be able to stay in this state um, of entrapment because this is happening. The emperor here feels like, to me, there is control. With the devil, we know that there is a kind of, you know, temptation. But th the emperor here is trying to stay in control over this situation. There is power struggle. There is control issues. There is, like, I need, you know, to kind of hold myself responsible for a situation here that is being created that feels very tempted. And this is because in the recent past or someone has communicated something to you or you had to make a decision. We will see. I want to see what uh, that, that devil energy is. Um, but having the, the emperor here, I feel like is someone here that is like, I, I cannot uh, lose control over this situation. I need to, uh, to hold on to whatever I've built. Now, the way you think, think possible, Scorpio, is that nine of pentacles. I've started, I know that's a Venus in Virgo, but since last year, I've started to associate the nine of pentacles with you because especially last year I used to get this card a lot and you feel like the best situation is for you individually here to you know concentrate on your money on yourself it may be that this is a person that you want to be with someone that is you know self-sufficient independent pre empress energy that's what you're going to think possible what's coming towards you is like something that uh, of a partnership or you know you're going to start working with someone or building a friendship or you know it's, it's that manifestation of work of effort so like i keep going to the devil because i'm like how does this all relate to your situation we will see but the the nine of pentacles and three of pentacles the way you think think possible and what's coming towards you is just okay you know i need to concentrate and put effort this is what i have and i want to build something here um long term 
even if it's you know with help and support from others the king of pentacles is how you see yourself now this may be you again with the nine of pentacles and king of pentacles very much when it comes to your prosperity especially with the emperor i can see these two energies someone here that is very strong very um i feel like when i look at the king uh, of pentacles and the emperor is someone that has achieved a lot is the kind of person that uh, has built a, a, a career here, it knows how to handle money, is boss attitude wealthy, or at least that's the mentality. And that's what is influencing. If you are not the king of pentacles, this person may be influencing you, we will see. But you're acting here or you see yourself with this energy of grounded, wealthy, prosperous, um, consistent, loyal, type of energy external to you that is going to be something revealed uh, to you here from you know a friend or a person also someone here has a telepathic communication with you they want to open up they they've been holding back here so that high priestess is what surrounds you it's actually i like it because whatever the situation that you feel entrapped and this offer that should i do it or not the high priestess will help you intuitively but also you might um get help from from someone else here the queen of swords is in your hopes and fears in a way i feel like some of you hoping that the queen of swords will be able to handle this in an objective way or this king of pentacles is feeling that the queen of swords is going to be like very intimidating very much detached i'm not accepting this offer i don't want it kind of situation you guys are going to find yourself or the potential outcome of this devil i have to tell you i'm getting here last i'm getting here desire i'm getting here chemistry is like i'm going i'm taking this offer because look at this i feel like this fire energy between this whatever this controlled energy the knight of wands is the most when it comes to all knights here the most careless most passionate most desirable is like i'm gonna act now and think later so that's the potential outcome of this offer. It can be something instantaneous, chemistry, lust driven. You know, I, I it's like the fire is burning here. I'm, I'm going to go for it type of situation. Let's see, though. I really um, I feel like the three of pentacles, I don't know if you're working with someone or you feel like there's a potential for uh, consistency because you have earth here. So there's a sense of being grounded, of being stable, of working with something here that provides financial um, stability. But when I look at these two cards together and the Queen of Swords, which I can see the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, someone here that is very, you know, I feel like stoic, uh, does not make rush decision. And then he's saying the potential outcome of this is completely different. All right, so let's see regarding the devil here why is the devil as overall situation sorry let me close that why is the devil please here one more hmm. the knight of wands and the six of wands this is an attachment here guys um uh, of what you've been trying to leave behind. I feel like you still, it's like someone is still attached to a situation that has tried to leave behind. Where is the devil and the eight of cups? One more. Okay, so you really want, you really want to open up and have a, um, it's like reconnect with someone, open the door to someone here. But I feel like for some of you, this may be someone that has tried to leave and they have not been able to leave. They're still, um, it's interesting, three of cups and four of cups and the eight of cups. This is all about feelings, attachment, emotional attachment. This is about you and someone else reconnecting. You're still attached to it, uh, you or your person. And I feel like there's an opportunity to meet up, to reconcile. What is the Four of Cups, please? One more. <laughs> wow. It came with the devil. Ugh. You're struggling. There's something that feels too good and too uh, forbidden for you. 
you feel you're trapped in a situation, Scorpio, that is not easy. You have to decide, do I take this offer up? What are, you know, the consequences? What am I giving myself to? That's what it is. It feels good. It feels, it, it helps you. I feel like for some of you also, it helps you emotionally, you know, go towards something that, uh, especially with the Eight of Cups and Three of Cups, because to me it's like you're leaving, you want to leave uh, certain things here that have been unhappy, but there's still that lingering emotion that you or this person have not completely let go. I'm, I'm getting the strong masculine energy here. What is the emperor? One more. Yeah, you see? Ooh, okay, we are dealing with uh, family, material wealth, money. This is resistance. This is, I'm protecting here. I'm protecting my wealth. I'm protecting my prosperity. I'm protecting here something that, you know, when it comes to my own inheritance, to my own family, there's something about um, karmic situation or doing the right way, doing the right thing here. Again, the, the emperor, the nine of wands is someone that is very responsible, very protective, very careful. This is someone that has gone through a lot, but it had, that's what I feel like that devil energy is like, what can I get, uh, you know, myself into and what do I need to resolve again to have this um, control to not do something here that I'm going to be you know repenting that's what I'm getting and it, it doesn't have to be you it may be the situation you're dealing with but at the heart of this at the base of this I feel like someone is resisting here and is trying to be in control over this situation because it deals or with a lot of money for some of you or with inheritance or again playing it um, in a way that I, I have control myself. I'm not, you know, careless. Some of you may be uh, <clears throat> things that you're dealing with law with that emperor and uh, the, the justice. We have Libra, Aries there, Virgo and Sagittarius. What is the night? It seems very specific, guys. So if I don't connect with all of you, I'm sorry. It seems like a very specific reading. I feel like in the recent past something has come to life here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. One more. That fire, that burning. Yeah, I feel like something in the recent past, and uh, the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Someone that has been waiting here for you for a long time. Now, I'm saying recent past, guys, but this may be happening right now or this week because we're looking at the week ahead. But this is because there's a decision here to go towards this potential. But there is a fear. It is a fear here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, please. One more. Yeah, you're manifesting this independence, freedom, to be well off. At least that's what you think possible. That is like the Nine of Pentacles does not attach here to the devil energy. It's like I have to be free here when it comes to my own personal things, you know, to my own individual uh, situation, self-sufficient, my own money, my own wealth, you know, my own business type of situation. That's what you think possible. Manifesting something here where there's wealth and prosperity, but you don't feel, again, that there's something that you might make a decision here and get caught in a situation that you're not free. That's what I'm getting there. What is the Three of Pentacles, please? Some of you may be manifesting again this person that you want to not have any other attachment. I keep getting certain, I have to, ooh, okay, I'm gonna, because I was not thinking there, so I'm gonna. Guys, there's a, a sudden turn of events regarding uh, a reunion here, family situation, something is completely going to change your status. For some of you, you're gonna find yourself here um, in a connection out of the blue and for others um, you're going to find your family situation 
completely the status changing what is the three of pentacles here it's coming sudden but faded like i, I feel like it's a nice uh, surprise here what is the three of pentacles please one more wow the hierophant man there's contracts there's marriage there's commitment here again it's the beginning of manifesting something that you feel totally different from the devil and the hierophant right the hierophant knows that uh some of you really i'm getting legal legal matters or you know contracts um business partnership here with the hierophant it feels right though this support this faith this building something steady here it feels right that's what's coming in it's like whoever is coming towards you or whatever you're working with you don't feel like there's an attachment to unhealthy attachment here it feels right it might be your fear here with the devil energy tell me about the king of pentacles as how you see yourself one more blocked what is this love that you're trying to contain and trying to make things work in a partnership but this king of pentacles is coming as someone here they it's not blocked it's like you feel you have um to protect yourself here guys are you protecting your assets are you protecting someone what is this one more okay so it has to do with that outcome this action here with you and someone else so when it comes to your money you feel like you have uh, to defend your actions or you have to defend the actions of someone else if I, I feel like the king of pentacles does not deal very well here with someone that comes in consistency or rushes in without you know any type of um assurance because again the king of pentacles does not deal but where well sorry well with fire or you know i feel like instantaneous impulsive spontaneous energy and that's how you see yourself or is that there's a uh, here are certain obstacles and challenges regarding this journey that you are facing and you feel like what do i need to overcome before someone rushes in i feel like again that's that fear some of you may be dealing with capricorn or have capricorn in your chart but is that kind of i need stability i need security here before someone comes rushing in i'm not just going to let my guard down and you know let you in what is the high priestess here i feel like you're defending your actions regarding someone or something as well what is the high priestess please one more guys you're gonna get some type of um unexpected messages or there's going to something to be revealed towards you messages revelation here with the high priestess and the eight of wands is like whatever it's interesting because again there's that something here that you feel like you have to protect or you have to um the obstacles that you have to face here but he's saying external to you something will feel very very quick very spontaneous actually it's like all revelation here or these thoughts are going to come quickly towards you and going to help you move forward beware of your uh, surroundings beware of um signs here that surround you person I, I feel like it's going to help you open up and make the best decision here but something is going to come fast and it feels it, it's come from the intuition here so it's not something you learn uh, or from the book or you study something you have known or this person has known all along and they're going to follow their intuition and come towards you quick and fast and open up what is the queen of swords please For some of you have like messages 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 flying here what is the queen of swords please in your hopes and fears one more high priestess i'm getting that there's a fear there you are this change here 
that you have to make again you're hoping to stay objective or you're hoping that this person is going to be able to open up and you know not hold back not to be cold not to to be detached here from their intuition now again if you are the queen of swords you uh, there's something here that you really want to explore but at the same time you feel like i'm hoping i'm being objective here i'm hoping i'm making the right decision for others the king of pentacles is afraid that the queen of swords is not ready to open up all right what is this knight of wands as a potential or the outcome here remember the outcome is with what you have to deal how you deal here with your circumstances what choice you make and so on the Knight of Wands, please, as an outcome. One more. The King of Cups. Okay, someone is uh, going with their heart here. We have um, declaration of love, actions towards love. One more. Oh my god knight of cups guys someone is confessing here declaring their love yep 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 this is someone that is very attracted to you or you to this person is ready to open up has been thinking about this i'm getting here that things are going to turn around quickly that's why i said you're dealing with some type of circumstances that feel too tempting too tempting this is someone is like two knights, by the way, here. The knight of wands and the knight of cups. Action towards love, passion, chemistry is like, I'm ready to open up here. Nothing can stop me from um, telling this person how I feel. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Very important week, whoever is dealing with. I feel like that's, again, there's the distrust. That should I do this? Should I not? Uh, should I make this offer or should I accept this offer? That's what's going on. I really hope this resonates with you guys in the extended as usual. We will see what's going on with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.